Okay, hi. So, <laughs> I'm normally not a person who makes videos like this, but I feel like I just wanted to kind of go through the Smart Closet app that was recommended in the uh, wardrobe panel back from G Garnet Gateau. And it's just something that's just a lot easier to show and look through than just to take screenshots and, you know, type text about it. So, here it is. There's going to be nothing on my homepage because I don't have any outfits yet, but I do like the core features of this app a lot. Um, you know, I like the closet. I haven't uploaded it to everything. There's a, you know, I have a lot of stuff. Not as much as other people, but still, you know, if you're starting any wardrobe app like this, it just feels like the January wardrobe post all over again. But, you know, I uploaded the basic stuff just to get a feel of it. I do really like that you can add stats to items. You know, you I had categories set up specifically for Lolita stuff. Uh, all the colors are more or less there. You're not going to get super, you know, super in-depth by being able to sort stuff by lavender and sacks and all of that. But this is good enough for me. Uh, you know, you can put the brands. Uh, the only thing I did wish the stats had was a separate column for the year. Uh, I just put it in the note. Um, you know, I would actually like to see the years of thing of stuff that was released and when I collect it, and the price that I put down uh, for any items I put in here is going to be the price that I paid personally for it, not including anything like maybe shopping service fees or shipping. So that's just how I'm choosing to use the app. I know a lot of people like putting retail price instead, but that wouldn't quite reflect the price that, you know, I paid for it. Like, you know, maybe I paid 600 for Melty Ribbon chocolate in the jumper skirt, but I only paid $75 for the low waist in the pink. I, you know, I just want to see that stat at the end of when I'm done with my whole wardrobe. And it's just like, oh shit. Um, I do like that. There is a collage feature that's intended to be like polyvore. Uh, you'll be able to make outfits if you can get through the hurdle of uploading everything you own. Uh, everything on top right here, uh, I actually did the uh, editing on Photoshop. I did it separately and then uploaded the pictures as PNGs. Uh, I tried using the in-app uh, editor and honestly I just don't think it's very good um, it leaves a lot of jagged edges which makes for jagged collages and I'm not a fan of that this one's not too bad but I would still like a cleaner cut because I'm you know I'm, I'm just that kind of person but you can do some in-app stuff and it only works if the picture itself is a perfectly good stock photo it's not going to work if there's any kind of gradient in your photo if it's not a perfectly a solid back image like with this it's gonna have a harder time and there is an auto button but I find that in general that's even worse than just clicking fill you can use it to kind of do little touch-ups if you mess up on your own uh, editing but I don't I don't use it very often I just rather do everything in Photoshop yep there it goes Let's see, there is, uh, and here's the collage feature. Um, it is a little finicky. Like, I wish there was, like, if you were to look at everything, basically, you, it would take over the whole screen. In order to get back to the collage page, you would kind of have to, let's see, let's make a really random, not too great outfit, but you would have to basically pull this down. It's not like the, the collage disappears, you just have to pull it back down. So I, I, it does get lost. In that case, we don't need that. But yeah, you can make, you know, pretty basic outfits. I don't think I have a black bag uploaded yet, but you know. Oh, you pull it down. I accidentally got two, so you can get rid of that. I do wish it had a feature to lock images in place, so that way you could just kind of build around it. But, you know, it looks really clean if you just do the editing on your own. That's why I do it. I never used polyvore when it was a thing but i thought this would be a really fun project to do anyways and i uh sorry if i am rambling a bit this is unscripted you can upload images in batches so which would look at all the images you have or you can do them one by one um i do batches in sets of nine and it just lets you kind of set everything up first uh, there's nothing in my favorites so far just because I haven't messed with it, but it will 
have some kind of, you know, affiliated shopping things. Um, if you try to look for what is essentially a lot of normie clothes, that's what the app's really for. It's not meant for specifically any alt fashions, but you can certainly use it for that. Like, I don't, I'm not probably never going to use this. Uh, I guess you could favorite your items to take a look at through it, but if I'm keeping it long term, it's probably my favorite item anyways. And I do like customization. You can set the item category. There's not a lot of tutorials on this app, so what I didn't know was I before I had like jumper skirt dress one piece is like everything listed out individually as you know. But it turns out everything has a subcategory, so I had to redo that all over. You just have to click on it to go in. That wasn't very obvious to me. Go back. Else, and yes, there is a stat page, which which is what I was most interested in. Um, before this, because I'm such a visual person, I used Pinterest for everything, which is fine and dandy if you just want to keep the stock images and such. But you know, there's not much usability be, uh, beyond that. I never made outfits with Pinterest or anything. It was just for me to check to see if I was buying something and if I had a dupe, or if it would go well with the other items I already had. But there is statistics. No looks yet, obviously. I haven't actually done anything. Um, I am frightened by the total value, and I will pretend to unsee it. You, know, you can see how many items you have and how they divide up. Colors. It, it's pretty basic. Um, I know some people like graphs and uh, actual Excel spreadsheet formulas, which I kind of am getting into now. But for now, this works really well for me, and it can kind of wean me off Pinterest. The best part about this app is that it's very discreet about the affiliated shopping. There's no ads on it. You know, I actually can't believe it's free. I would have been okay paying $4 or whatever to use it. If, the, if this app was still being updated, which I'm not sure of, I would actually be pretty happy to pay a subscription. Like I pay a subscription for the Visco uh, editing app, which I really like a lot. But, you know, it's pretty fun. Um, I'm pretty excited to see what happens and how to use it. Uh, I There is a calendar where you can log outfits in. Um, I just haven't done anything, so it's not. It's obviously not going to show up. So, you know, it's, it's, it's got a couple glitches, but the core uh, app is pretty good. I wish that the, you know, I wish that I wasn't absolutely insane and planning to just photoshop all these images with clear, uh, transparent backgrounds later but hey i just apparently i'm just one of those people that enjoy it it, it doesn't honestly it doesn't have to be great just using the magic tool is enough and these were stock images were from the uh, sellers anyways so it's just a case of you know just magic uh, magic what is it magic wand it's called magic wand. magic wanding everything and maybe cleaning up some edges if you're really picky yeah, but I hope this helps if you got, if someone else is looking for a wardrobe organizer. I am pretty excited to finish this up. It's just going to be a long burn project because I don't have very good photos of like any of my accessories. So I'm going to have to pull out the light box again and take photos of all of that. Okay, so one thing I did forget to mention was that you can filter things by what you want to see. Uh, it's going to be in that upper right corner, but you can filter dresses by maybe colors. Like maybe I just wanted to see everything pink I owned. And because you can give every item a status, you know, I have curation, which is, you know, in my actual wardrobe. It's at home. It's physically with me. Packages that are on their way, pending packages, uh, pre-orders, and then wish lists. So, you know, if I wanted to see everything but the wish list items because I don't own it, I would just click these. And, you know, and see what I have. And this would be all the pink dresses I own or dresses with pink in them. Um, I do also like this feature a lot. The only one I'm probably not going to use is season just because first I live in Southern California. We don't experience seasons. We just experience unrelenting okay weather and then forest fires. Those are our two seasons, forest fires and hot, I guess. But yeah, this is, I just wanted to bring this up as well. Um, I forgot to mention it, and it is a part that I really like in the app. So I hope this helps. Um, promise you'll never hear from me again. <laughs>